Okay, so this is a video request by John Bailey. He wanted me to go over which figures in the game are the best ones to use. I kind of already did a video on this, but a few of my opinions on a few of them have changed. Plus, we got the DLC that came out not too long ago. So, why not? I don't mind giving it a second go. I think I have a much better mindset and could even cut a few more figures a break here and there. So, I'll try to get through this quick as I possibly can, just one thing I want to get out of the way, if you hear me say viable, that means that there are better options, we could still use them, they're still really decent. And obviously, if you have a faster figure, you're probably going to want to use them in a team that focuses going first, vice versa going second, you're going to want to put them with like SEC skills, the new healing skills we got, if they take a bunch of damage, you can even stack that with defense up second. And if you're going first, you're going to want to focus on things like attack up A, ADM up A, speed up A, ultimate gauge down every turn. I'll also be going over all the character skills that are worth using. Because believe it or not, there aren't that many. Without further ado though, let's get into the figures. There's a bunch I gotta go over. Viable. 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 One of the best figures in the game. Viable. 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 I use a very specific setup with him, and that's what makes him so great. Otherwise, yeah, he's and most viable in my opinion. His sister just does such a better job. Also, if I don't say anything about a figure, it's because ignore them. Viable. Viable. One of the best no one units in the game. I praise Trunks to Helen Beck for very good reasons. Viable. One of the best all one units in the game. The only thing that he has going for him that's going to make him any better at all than the new fast EX limited broken um, Gogeta is accessibility. Because not only do you have to get 10 dupes of the speed version, you also need to get 20 Gogeta chips and then limit break him to the EX version. But by that point, if luck was kind to you, you'll have time then, you'll have the new best all one unit in the game. Viable. Viable. I would say one of the best figures in the game still. Viable. One of the best figures in the game, I'd, I'd say still. Very good, Sharp has always been great. One of the most broken figures of the game, but also needs no introduction. Viable. Viable. One of the best ally attack boosting figures in the game. Very solid. One of my personal favorites, too. In my opinion, one of the best figures in the game still. For Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Use the attack version and dupe them all in HP. That's what I recommend. Put them behind Vados. I'm sorry, not behind Vados. Put them behind Piccolo, the HP one. I'll dupe in HP also. Uh, put Vados next to him. With attack up second. Defense up second. And ultimate gauge down every turn. And for both Piccolo and Goku... You could do... Actually, no, I'm sorry. Bravados, you're going to want to have attack up second, and AM up second, defense up second. I'll go over why when I get done here. I'll, I'll show off the deck. I've shown it off a few times already. And then Piccolo is the one I'm thinking of. Attack up second, defense up second, ultimate gauge down every turn. Because he's just going to stick around forever. And then Super Saiyan 4 Goku, as a safety net, I put him with attack up second, AM up second, defense up second. I'll go over Dax 2 in this video. Just so you can have a few suggestions and some ideas.
viable. Uh, original Broly, not so much. Both Go Tanks, still viable. 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 Actually, you know what? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disrespect you like that, but you know, you're actually still one of the best figures in the game. Especially the speedier variant. That's the version I'd recommend using solely. Um, first Bardock, viable. Viable. Very solid unit overall. I would say he's like between viable and one of the best. One of the best figures in the game. I just think Vegeta does such a better job than Goku. Yeah, Vegeta just has the overall better burger square. And he's not limited by um ha having the you know, having to ally on the left and right. I'm pretty sure on the right doesn't count for anyone in front of Goku. Or on the bottom left, even if it has like um uh, wrapping Pac-Man syndrome, so to speak. One of the best figures in the game ignored the second version because it is complete and utter garbage. And they still haven't corrected the trigger square. It is not 70%. It is actually more like 35. Viable. If you really want him to work, use the first one. Use him in an SEC team. Do them all in HP. You might want to consider doing the same with the second one if you're using him in a speedier team. Still one of the best figures in the game. I personally think that the HP one has more potential. Either one's amazing though. And I'm sorry that um, I know this sounds like backwards to a few other players who play this game like seriously competitively over on PS4, like for example, Sun Santana, J Swiss. Um, you know, I do see a bunch of your guys' comments on Rock, on uh, Rocket Robo's channel and uh, Mug the Dude. You're all really great players. Uh, it would be amazing one day if I get if I got to fight some Santana. He's got some really seriously good ideas when putting teams together. I also just really like the look of his character. It looks really cool. Anyway, um, if, if you know if it were me playing. I wouldn't bother putting UI Goku behind either Vados or Piccolo. I would just use Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Funko Slash Vegeta, but again, that's me. That's just to give some ideas. I like utilizing the trigger squares and building up where I can. It just helps me in my playstyle a lot. I don't like, really like running figures off their trigger squares. That's just how I play. Viable. You know, I would say he's even still one of the best all one units in the game. The, um, speedier Jiren. Viable. I would say overall, still very solid. Um, I think they get the first Super Saiyan 4 Goku just right, though, again. Not bad, though. He's very beneficial to the team. And heck, you can even team him up with both NSC Goku and, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. That'd be great. I might do that in the future. Don't think of it. I wish more people would use this Vegeta. He's actually one of the few figures that Rock and Robo changed my mind on. I didn't think he was all that much at first. Then I saw what he could do over on Robo's channel, and I think he's excellent. In general, you're probably going to be better off using the second one, though. The uh, one with more HP. Uh... All the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the game pretty much are amazing. I personally think the one that has all this HP, though, is not as good in comparison. I would just stick with this one. And I would do them like this. That's that's just me, though. One of the most broken figures in the game. That's all I really need to say on her, because she is... She's essentially the figure you pick if you have to win. If you want to win. There's a reason why he was banned on over on um, Rocket Robo's channel for the tournament. And I want to say even in one of Monks' tournaments, or a couple of them, 
uh, she got banned there too. Uh, so did Adele and Piccolo because everyone runs those three. Those three are probably the most broken. You know, Bottles is at least a bit more balanced. Very good figure. I didn't think he was much at first, but then I saw what he could do again over on Rock and Robo's channel. Very decent. He was the perfect fit, fit that I was looking for for that team I put together with both Vado Suisse, um, Ranger 17, and the new EX Land Broken Gogeta that I'll be getting to towards the end here. I personally think the first one's better. Use that one. HP version of Bardock, I think, is going to be a little bit better. Both are great, though. I would say he's, he's even still one of the best figures in the game. Very good figure. It's really hard. Either or. Even if you have to spend some time building him up, he's still great. Viable. I'm not a fan of how you can't fully utilize Capital's Trigger Square. I like the entirety of it. I don't like it when, you know, figures do that. Like, even with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, yes, I often run Trunks on a Trigger Square, but say, for example, I'm against the UI Goku, I can still throw the Super Saiyan 4 Goku on there with Piccolo and Bottles and still be just fine. Let's just say for in general. And I don't really have to worry about the opponent getting an ultimate that next turn either. Um, one of the best figures in the game. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goji is amazing. Don't use the second one though. I just think it's complete trash in comparison. Still viable though. I'll get to that though. Um, one of the most hard-hitting figures in the game. I don't like how you can't fully utilize him. Same issue I have with Kefla. I will, however, say, in general, he's a lot better. Just because of his stat distribution. He goes behind, uh, Whis. And a Goku will be getting to later. Those are pretty much the bulkiest frontliners you're gonna want to put him behind. He's already got more than enough attack. You can easily put him with up second skills. You can start building up his defense even if you need to. And that'll make him even that much better. By turn 3, he utterly wrecks anything that's in the front. And then if not, he's going for the master. Don't use the second one. I just don't think you're going to get a lot of benefit out of doing that. I wouldn't recommend using the second one. Uh, don't use the, the first version of this variant for Ultra Instinct Goku. Use the second one because I've seen what he can do recently over on Rock and Robo's channel. He's actually a very good L1 unit. Uh, I underrated him quite a bit. Still, I want to say viable just because I think there are better options. Actually, wait, let me look at something. I saw him for a square for plus 350 on defense and an additional 500 to attack. 500 speed and 10% ultimate attack damage when no ultimate attack gauge is 50% or higher repeatable. Okay, so, prior to that, he actually has the potential to be the best O1 figure in the game. Problem is, you have to build him up. And it's not particularly safe to do with his HP and his defense. So you are pretty much forced to run figures like Whis and Vados with him. Ranger 17. And a Z Goku. Things like that. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Hardest hitting Owen figure in the game. And uh, there's no arguing that. Only problem, doesn't have the most speed, and he leaves your master wide open. Still though, very amazing if you're going to use him, especially as an O1 unit. Do this one all on his speed, put O1 skills on, he's still very, very fast. Used to be my favorite figure in the game. In fact, I would say he's still one of the best. Um, lately, though, he's kind of fallen out of favor, in my opinion, for Focus Flash Vegeta. Uh, for one of my decks, though, I do have both him and Focus Flash, because sometimes I like throwing this one. I like to build this one up, put him out in the front if I need to, and then if anything happens to him, just stick with Focus Flash Vegeta by that point. 
I've shown that deck off before. Again, I'll go over decks when I I'm going over figures and character skills here. Don't use this, Gogeta. Don't use Ribrian ever, or I'll hate you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I don't think he's that good. Because they screw up her stats so much. She had much better stat layouts in some of the free battles. I wish we got those instead. They call it Rock and Robo. One of the best figures in the game. Amazing. Get all the Android 21 you can. I would say other version, really. Because this one has a lot of defense. You can easily build up her attack. You can even put her on the field if you wanted to with Vados and Whis. There you go. She's not dying. Viable. Viable. Keep in mind also when I'm going over these, this is just my opinion. Uh, feel free to leave some of your favorites down below. Uh, if you feel like I mentioned some of your favorites that uh, you thought were much better and you think I'm wrong for it, feel free to leave one below. I'm, all, I'm open to opinion. I'm open to... And again, I, I thought that like four of the, the units in this game were not all that until I watched what they could do over on Rock and Robo's channel. So I very well could be wrong about some of your favorites. One of the best figures in the game. Either version. Amazing all around. Very decent. I'm gonna leave him at viable though, just because the stats during that turn only. The stats aren't all that, they're above the average at least. And even then, I like what Elamite breaks into even more. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Same thing can be said about this Vegeta here. Amazing figure. This is actually one of the figures that Robo changed my mind on. I didn't like him very much just because he decreases your ultimate attack gauge at the end of each turn. Here's the thing though, now we have Topo and you can actually abuse that to your advantage. And let's say you get an ultimate and you haven't put him on the field yet. He hits ridiculously hard as is. So you get an ultimate that turn. Put him on the field, have him ult. Follow me on this. Also have Topo in the upper right. Not only are you ultimating your opponent, Topo's going for the master also. It's over. Too dangerous to use. I wouldn't recommend using any of the super villain figures at all. Don't use any of the Supreme Kai of Time because they require very specific measures and just in general aren't that beneficial. I would say at least viable. The other future going on was so much better. Same could be said about the previous Bardox. They're so much better. Even the base form. My new favorite figure in the game, Janemba. Why that is? Well, you can pause right here and read it for yourself in the Turbo Square. Utterly busted. In my opinion, the best figure. And especially if you're going up against the AI, he makes them even more of a joke than they usually are. And I say more than they usually are because, again, I have access to tools. I break this game into whatever. I have, I have tools. I Again, I feel really bad for those that don't. It, it just sucks. Having to grind up TP medals or pay for them, stupid microtransactions, and then pray to RNGs to get what you want. Believe me, I know where you're coming from, because before I had access to tools by Unleashed, and Unleashed can even tell you about it himself. For the first batch of figures we ever got when this game initially came out, I know I'm going off, off on a tangent a bit here, and I apologize for that, but I'll try to be quick about it. So, when New Coliseum first came out, I sat there for nearly 8 to 12 hours, I don't remember how long. Summoning one at a time. This was before we had dupe summons. It took me that long just to get the last figure I was missing, which was one of the versions of the first Blue Goku. The asshole would not drop. And this was before we had combining either, and the ability to get rid of figures. There's a lot they changed about the game, like when around when it initially came out. And I spent 
17 and a half hours around there for the um actually no it was 17 hours on the dot i think for the attack ui goku could not get it i kept getting the health one again that was before i had access to tools so i know it sucks uh, and that was even you know when i had the ability to use a save editor at the time which i'm sorry not save editor I was using Cheat Engine at the time, and I got Max TV Mouse. And that's what I was using to summon for my figures. But anyway, best figure in the game. I'm sorry for going off on that tangent, folks. Um, and then, sell, viable. You know, I, someone left a comment saying he's perfection. I'm sorry, I don't see it. And you also have to keep in mind... Yes, he's ideal for second teams, but the thing is, he doesn't have a whole lot of um, HP, um, I'm sorry, a lot of a lot of defense on the set that has all that HP, and on the set that has a lot more defense, yes, his HP is very decent, I'll give him that, and you can easily start building him up. There are two problems with that. One, he's in the front. Two, he takes up the upper right and the upper left. So it's one or the other. You can only have Vados or Whis, not both. At that point, you're going to need to run Super Saiyan 4 Goku with him to properly build him up. But, oh wait, wait a minute, you can't do that. Because Goku needs to be behind Cell, so Cell can use his trigger square. You get, I think you can get where I'm having a problem with this a bit better. I don't think he's that great. This is pretty much the our golden freeze on steroids. If you have to use either, use this one. I would say he's one of the new best figures in the game. One of the new best figures in the game here also, but he gets even better. Don't worry, we'll get to that. I've already shown him off, but yeah, I'll get to him. Kind of worthless. Also kind of worthless, which is a huge bummer. And a uh, serious what the fuck because it's blue evolution. I had that same thought for the second blue Gogeta we had we um got in the game. He got basically the same treatment in a way. They're both kind of bad. Viable, and I'm gonna leave him at viable for right now because I see the potential with him. Only thing is, he needs a partner on the field, and you can only have him and one other figure on the field. To utilize that two-figure attack block, and ideally, it's going to probably be any super version of Super Saiyan Gogeta. Super Saiyan 1 specifically states Super Saiyan 1. So, I'm, you know, I'll leave them at both viable and gimmicky. How's that? I'll leave them in gimmicky. You know, same could probably be said about 17 and 18. Their first UR versions. Let me see what we got here. Let me read his true square real quick. I haven't really gone over some of these yet. XP, sex turn, that's for only. Place two units. Okay, same deal here. Not terrible. I would say he's a little bit, little bit better than the first one. Just because he doesn't require that you have to use um, Super Gogeta. So they at least gave us another option. It's a very similar posing skill, though. I would say he's actually one of the best figures in the game and that idea went over don't worry i'll be getting to that very soon look at how much he gets when when going second i'm sorry let me rephrase that look at what he gets and then also factor in second skills he's gonna be a monster so play center sure square for plus 2000 known attack and 5% the damage dealt, stacks during that turn only. Attack an opponent for plus 350 to own attack. So before you're even going for the master, you can build it up. And you can easily keep him alive. You can put him on the field with Ranger 17 and Whis. Which I'll probably be doing when I get to that video. And when old ultimate attack gauge is at 80% or higher, directly attack the opponent's master. By that point, I'm probably going to throw him on the field with both Omega Shenron and 
Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't run Omega Shenron as an all one unit. I put him on the field with Telpo and probably Weiss. One of the most broken figures in the game. Do absolutely everything you can to get the Goku needed to limit break him, because he's amazing. Both versions. If I had to pick, though, this one wins by just a little bit. Obviously, going second, you're going to want to use this one. Uh, overall, the best version of the EX Limit Broken Gogeta, in my opinion. Just for this distribution, and shout out again to one of my uh, viewers, Vegeta Ultra Instinct. He has the same exact build on his as I do here. Very good reasoning for that. You balance out his HP, gets to 9,000. You balance his attack out to 8,000. You bounce out of speed to 3,000. Those are great base stats to start the game off with. And then this one is just overall kind of meh. His issue is he's getting... Actually, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the one that adds defense and speed. But this one starts out with much lower attack. You can easily make up for that. He's got a really decent trigger square. Um, the other one's a bit better, though, even though he's not continuously building up attack. He still has a spot behind bottles, though. So just use that one. New best O1 figure in the game. Again, do everything you possibly can to get this figure, particularly the speed version and do them all on the speed. Viable. I don't know how well he performs now that he's been limit broken. Same with Slug. I'm gonna go over honorable mentions, at least as far as viability, but aren't you ours? Viable. Very decent. I've seen the help you can put in over on uh, Robo's channel. He's basically a worse Fidel. But if Fidel's banned, now he's an option. Uh, let's see. Any that immediately come to mind. Okay, we pretty much went over all those. Um, yeah. These are all level 1 too, so it's really hard for me to make quick judgment on any. Um, ones that immediately come to mind, I'll go over. I'm not really too sure about the rest. Uh, feel free to leave any suggestions, or if you've gotten some really good results out of some of these, definitely feel free to leave those below just to get some more people, uh, or some, you know, more new players, more options. Because there are still, surprisingly, I mind you, there are, there are a bunch of new people getting into this game, believe it or not. And it's nice to see that the game is, you know, getting so much praise. It used to just get chat on for a while, and now people are finally starting to get into it a bit. But other ones I can immediately think of that are at least decent options, I would say are, um... Not the end version of Frost, the SR version of Frost. Where's he at? That's in a previous update. Let me get to that real quick. Also, Super Saiyan Kava, he's really good. Uh, Ultimate Gohan, too. I'll point him out when I get to him. I just need to find him. Probably should have tried to do this earlier. There we go. SR Frost, very decent. I would say he's a good pick. Same with Kava. He's not bad either. Where's Ultimate Gohan? Go find him now. There we go. Another very viable option. Um, and then the most broken out of the lower rank figures, and they're not even SRs. The Golden Frieza, but there's a better version of it out now, and it's a UR figure. Which is the new UR Frieza we, ha we have in uh, Final Form, it's just not golden. But anyway, the new UR Frieza is the one I recommend using over this, but this one's still very broken too. And it repeats every turn. He even has a spot behind Vados. You can run two of them to be a dick if you want. 
can even run him alongside Super Saiyan 4 Goku if you feel like it. Run Golden Freeze on the bottom right or in the upper middle. Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vados. All that damage mitigation. Not for the character skills. Skills that you're going to want to keep your eye on are up 01 and up 02 skills. Those are, those are really good ones. Other than that, a lot of the stuff is just fluff or filler. Um, let's see what else. Oh, right. Um, any of the up A skills you're going to want to use, those are all really solid if you're going first. If that's your focus, use those. Uh, let's see what else. I want to make sure I don't miss anything here, is the thing. Early on, some of these were actually really good, the friend HP and master HP, but then they just brought in better character skills. That's why I personally find a lot of them to just be unnecessary filler. And even then, we still get a bunch of those with each update. Back up second, defense up second, speed up second is pointless, you should never ever use this. That defeats the whole purpose of going second. Unless you're really trying to make one of your figures specifically go first out of one of your other ones for that turn. So you can do that, but again, I just think there's no point in doing so. Uh, let's see, any of the seconds, another great one. Wait, what? Did I seriously just notice this now? Okay, you know what? No, I'm thinking of... I don't know why I got it mixed up with up A. I was thinking that this was a new skill we just got. So, for up A skills, I'll get to it when I get to it, but they don't have ADM up A. I'm sorry, not ADM up A. I'm trying to remember what it was, dang it. There was like an ADM... Okay, that was it, that was it, I'm sorry. For O1 skills, there is no ADM up O1. That's, that's what I was thinking of. There's only attack up O1 and speed up O1. Same with the O2. Otherwise, that'd be really, really broken. Uh, you'll find some use out of attack up. Um, any of the up F or up B skills you'll find some use out of. You're going to probably want to stick those on fingers that exclusively go in the front or in the back, though. To get the most out of them. And then for the other two skills, you can equip everyone else with whatever you want. Like, ultimate negation on every turn, attack up A, ADM up A. And these are like the most ideal skills for going first. Uh, these are actually very decent, especially if you're going second. You can probably do things like stack them all together on the same character, especially if they have insane defense as is. As an example, you could just to troll your opponent, you could throw three of these on 17, Whis, and Vados. I think you're just going to get more out of it though if you put defense up second and just keep building up defense. They'll never go anywhere. So nice that we have them though. You can even stack defense up second with these and that's not bad either. Any of the pack down, defense downs, probably not too ideal. You know, let's get higher as the turn uh, number increases, of course. Uh, everyone mostly just uses ultimate gauge down every turn. That's the biggest um, down every turn skill skill that you're going to see, like, everywhere. Most players are using this. First or second. Uh, when you're ready, I'm sorry. Whether you're trying to go first or second, players are using this skill. Because Owen skills aren't that much of a pain in the ass. If you don't have it, you're in trouble a lot of the time. And that pretty much does it as far as like all the useful character skills. Now, and I know this video is a little bit long. Um, I'm going to go over my decks just to give you some ideas and suggestions. So whatever you have in your box, Bailey, hopefully this gives you, you know, some help. I know it's a long one too. I hope it's at least informative and that you got what you were looking for here. So what I like to do for my decks, and you're going to 
learn this uh, more and more as I keep uploading, you know, these videos. I like to have coverage all across the board when it comes to trigger squares. I don't like it when I have a figure and I can't run them on a trigger square to fully utilize them. I know people run figures off their trigger squares. You can do that. That's fine. That's not how I like to play, though. This is what is personally uh, I refer to as, anyway, my best deck in the game. And Trunks is about to go bye-bye in it, because Goji is that much better. Now you know, it's fine. I'll leave him. Screw it. But, yeah, if you want to fully optimize this deck even more, you can go ahead and replace that with Gogeta. I don't know, I just like having that extra defense, and it's not like the PvP community for this game even exists on PC, so... You know, obviously I'll be fine, but you're gonna want to use the new excellent Broken Gogeta. If you get your hands on that, you are set for an 0-1 figure. Just get 11 of them, do 10 of them into the speed one, you're good. And, unfortunately, you will need to summon 11 of the speed ones. It's gonna take some time. Feel free to pause anywhere. I'm just gonna quickly go over, you know, each deck individually. Give you just enough time to look anywhere you need to, to look at their skills also. I also did go ahead and I did some changing up on a couple decks here and there, you're gonna see. Uh, you're also going to see that I no longer have my initial most over overpowered duck I made because it's just not as good anymore. Uh, it was the one with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, uh, Piccolo, Jiren, Vados. Forgot who else was in there. I want to say it might have been Focus Slash Vegeta. I want to say it was Vegeta. And again, this is just to give you some ideas. Generally, what I like to look for when it comes to a great all one figure, and that's just me, some people are different. I don't like running the future Gohan because he doesn't have a trigger square in the upper middle. But once you finish building him up, those are his stats. He doesn't get any more when you put him on the um, ultimate um, trigger square, which is why a lot of people like using him anyway, because by that point, he's pretty much set, and he has all that speed too. This was the deck I was talking about, by the way, where, um, I don't remember if I brought it up or not. I replaced one of the Vegeta with him, and, um, I also got rid of the Piccolo in favor of Trunks, and he basically became the new one figure for this. I want to say he was actually here. Never mind. I'm sorry. I replaced Piccolo with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I used to have Piccolo on the stack. And the reason I did that is because I would have no one to protect the left at that point, unless it was Trunks. And I didn't want to throw him out like that all willy-nilly. But this Gogeta was just what I was looking for. Plenty of attack, goes in the front left, even has some nice HP to him. So I think he's an overall improvement. But as you can see, still coverage all across the board. Anything happens to either Videl or Vegito, that's what Gogeta here is for. Probably should have said this at the beginning, but if you don't already have one by this point, get a snack or a drink or something if you're going to watch this whole thing. Because, I know, it's a longer one. I usually have been trying to avoid longer videos like these, because not only are they usually very draining on me, but just a lot of people don't have that much time to sit down and look at it all, at, you know, at one time. Uh, 10 to 15 minute videos, in my opinion, are a lot easier to, di to digest. Because then otherwise you're having, to, you're having to commit all that time to just, you know, some moron like me on YouTube. I don't even think I'm that good. I do appreciate the support and the fans, though. That's That that actually means a lot to me. Uh, it's actually been really nice to see a few people joining and watching my channel grow recently. 
And uh, hope you'll enjoy what um, I put out, and I'll keep putting up that stuff you'll enjoy. And if you want some more uh, Hero Coliseum content, of course, go check out Rock and Robo. Unleash, Unleash just because it's the principle of the thing. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be able to show off all the new figures as soon as they come out. Um, I really need to go check him out when I get done. Uh, Raven Gaming. I want to say he might be taking a break. I don't know when Mug of Dude's coming back. Hopefully soon. Been gone for a couple months. A lot of people like myself are starting to get kind of concerned. Um, but other than that, other channels I can think to recommend offhand. Let's see. There's RC Blazer, one of my buddies. QB4 Square. A great buddy. He's also why I'm able to get a lot of the content as early as I do. Uh, mainly talking about, of course, the new equipment we get for each DLC, all the skills and accessories, Super Souls. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mention Lazy Bones just because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be able to get all those um, new artworks so quickly for the save editor. Uh, let's see. Mike Thompson, I'm going to go ahead and recommend, recommend him because it's been a while. I hope he's doing all right. Uh, fun fact, he's actually uh, one of my good buddies on Steam. He has drawn a few... Uh, pieces of artwork for me and my characters and um he's that guy you see on youtube that has all those views showing off every kamehameha within the whole franchise and um on steam you'll know him as mr monocle unless he's changed it again but anyway i thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one don't worry it will not be this long and peace